You guys should already know that my stance on this topic is pretty much irrelevant because I don't take this game that seriously, but when there are people out there that are being negatively affected by Epic's decisions that have made entire livings off of this game, we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars in earnings off of this, they're gonna have some shit to complain about. And I mean, honestly, can you blame them? Hey everyone, this is Syntax, and welcome to the first official episode of Syntox, the show where I voice my opinion regarding controversial topics within the realm of Fortnite Creative, and you guys argue with me in the comments as if that's going to change anybody's mind about anything. If you're new here, you might not know that I actually introduced the idea of Syntox a while ago. I just never got around to making the first episode, and the idea when I originally came up with it was just for me to sit in this studio that I built and talk about controversial topics within the realm of Fortnite Creative, just to sort of generate conversation surrounding them. Let me make it clear that the idea of this show is not to attack anybody. I don't want you attacking anybody in the comments if you disagree with them, and I don't want you attacking me if you disagree with me. The idea is just to have a productive conversation about topics that one, people might disagree on, and two, that are just genuinely controversial. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I don't want you attacking anybody that doesn't agree with you or attacking Epic even though what they're doing is, granted, not great for the game, um, but anyway, I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer, so without further ado, let's get into it. For those of you who are unaware, a few months back, Epic introduced a new way to be featured in-game, and this wasn't just like any regular portal feature, no, this was a chance to have your work plopped down and displayed in the middle of Tilted Towers in the actual Battle Royale map, and this was called the Block 2.0. This new block was broken up into three plots of land, essentially three grid layouts for the buildings in Tilted Towers, and the idea was you would build your own custom building that you think would fit nicely in Tilted, and if you submit it and it one, you would have a chance to be thrown into a pool with other creators where the players in Battle Royale would vote for what they wanted to be featured. I should also mention that there were quite a few limitations on how creative you could be with your submission. For example, what you were building had to fit within the aesthetic of the new Tilted, so you were only allowed to use the new Tilted props and galleries, nothing else. And since whatever you built was going to be placed in one of the most popular POIs in Fortnite history, you had to make sure that there weren't too many props clustered together in the actual buildings. and you couldn't use building as prop because otherwise if you take out the base of the building all of it wouldn't fall down everything had to be on grid anyway despite a few limitations the hype surrounding the block 2.0 when it first came out was insane people were super excited to actually build their submissions and i mean it sounded like a great idea you have a bunch of creators competing for a spot in tilted towers to display their artwork for the world and i mean at its core it really was a good idea but the way epic decided to handle the voting system and some something extremely and beyond hypocritical that they did at the very end of it all ruined everything. There is nothing that is salvageable. Everything was ruined by their decisions. Now, I might be slightly over-exaggerating. It is obviously still a good thing that three creators get to show off their work to the world via being in Tilted Towers, but the way that they got there is disingenuous, and not because of anything that they did, but because of how Epic set up the voting system. In preparation for this video, I actually loaded up a battle lab and went into Tilted to look at all the Block 2.0 winners, because I hadn't actually seen anything up to this point, and I mean, it's not like any of them didn't have a chance to win, they were all unique in their own ways. But let me just explain to you how this voting system was set up, and you'll see why Epic messed up so badly. Inside of Tilted, there were these voting boards. They were kind of like the challenge boards, but when you clicked on them, instead of displaying challenges, they displayed what three options were available for that plot of land. And those three options were obviously the different buildings made by the three different creators. So yeah, you would click on that voting board, and then all three options for that particular plot of land would be presented in front of you. Kind of like how you see on your screen here it was just left to right options one two and three and you could choose however much gold you wanted to siphon into whatever option you think should have been the winner of that plot the problem with this was the fact that epic actually overlooked a ui bug with the voting boards and it wasn't even really a bug it was more of just a really flawed system let me explain why you might think that when you clicked on these voting boards you had to scroll to whatever option you wanted to vote for and while that still was the case for all three plots of land when you opened the voting boards that corresponded to that plot your cursor by default fault was on option three. Without you touching anything, without moving anything, when you clicked on the boards, your cursor was on option three. My brothers and sisters in Christ, ladies and gentlemen of the Fortnite creative community, I want you to take a guess at what buildings you think won for each plot of land. Just take a guess, throw a wild guess out there. And if you guessed option three for all three plots of land, 
you would be absolutely correct. Now, I know that there's going to be a few people out there that are like, well, syntax, that's actually a causation correlation fallacy. You can't prove that just because people's cursors were on option three that that caused option three to win. Well, you know what? That's funny you should say that because I actually found a graph on Twitter that someone posted that proves it and I want to show it to you. What you are looking at right now is the amount of gold distribution for each option that was presented on the different voting boards. And do you guys notice a pattern? A little bit of a, a correlation causation type of thing going on? Yeah, option three had the most gold attributed to it for every single plot. And for those of you out there that still think having your cursor on option three by default wouldn't affect the voting results because, you know, you're special and you would scroll to whatever block you wanted to win. Let me explain why a basic understanding of marketing and advertising proves you wrong once again. Anyone that knows anything about advertising understands that when you are trying to show a group of something to someone, whatever takes the least amount of effort to see or the least amount of effort to get to is going to have the most interaction. This is actually exactly how Discover works. Why do you think the maps at the front get the most plays? It's because people don't have to scroll to them. And unfortunately, this is how the voting was. It is a comforting thought to think that the majority of players would vote for what they actually wanted to be featured. But that just simply wasn't the case. I mean, most of these kids probably didn't even know what the hell was going on with this voting system. These are Battle Royale players. They're voting on impulse. And I mean, not that there's anything wrong with Battle Royale players, but I'm just saying it would go against human behavior and human psychology if that was the case. You know, considering Epic's past, perhaps it is collectively our fault as a community for boldly assuming that a multi-billion dollar company would be capable of producing a fair voting system that would potentially result in creators making more money than they ever have in their entire lives. There were actually a ton of people pointing out on Twitter that there was in fact a bug with the UI on the voting boards, and Epic actually put out a statement addressing this fact, and uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's it's something, guys, just, let me just show you. Look at this. We identified a UI bug during the block 2.0 vote that had an entry pre-selected when opening the board and understand this may have influenced player behavior. We'll be fixing this before any future voting events. Keep an eye out for the winners arriving in a future update. Um, I'm sorry, may have influenced player behavior? May have? Guys, again, this is a multi-billion dollar company that 100% has a developed understanding on how advertising works. And you're telling me that they took a situation that 100% influenced player behavior and had the audacity to word it as it may have? Everyone, please excuse my language, but epic. Get the fuck out of here, are you kidding me? Like I've already said, I don't take this game that seriously, but I understand how serious the situation actually is. A flawed system potentially cheated creators out of their lives being changed, and the best you can do is saying, oh, sorry, won't happen again, our fault. Like. What? Come on now. And it's not only the fact that they haven't officially owned up to what they actually did and addressed the fact that it was wrong and tried to reverse it in some way, it's the fact that they go against their own policy on one of the block submissions. Like, they are beyond hypocritical, and I'll show you guys why. If you weren't already aware, all of the creators that won their block submissions had a support a creator plaque placed outside of their building somewhere. And it's actually a pretty cool looking style for the support a creator button. I hope we get it in creative soon. But anyway, one of the block submissions is a very interesting case for this, and I, I want you guys to look at it and tell me if you notice anything. Do you guys see it yet? Yeah, that's right. Epic went out of their way to place this player's support a creator plaque a few inches from an ammo box, which just so happens to have the exact same button you would need to interact with it as their support a creator plaque. As creators, we're told that we can't put any devices within a few feet of our support a creator buttons because they don't want us misleading children into accidentally supporting us. Um, epic. This is the physical embodiment of accidentally supporting someone. You've put their support a creator button a few inches from an interactable and people have already posted about trying to search the ammo box and accidentally supporting. So not only has Epic refused to officially own up to the fact that they created a flawed voting system, but they also went against their own policy in the most hypocritical manner possible that if a creator were to do that, they would be struck down by the hand of God himself. Listen, in case I haven't made it clear enough already, this is a no no way the fault of the creators that actually won. I'm sure they had no say in where they were going to be placed within the voting system, and I'm pretty sure they had no say in where their supported creator plaques were going to be placed. This is simply just another case amongst many where people have both benefited and suffered from Epic's negligence. And I mean, I think it's safe to say that Epic ruined the block 2.0 
for all of us. Some of you might be thinking why I even care as much as I do, because like I've said before, I, I don't take this game that seriously, and you know, I'm not really in it for the money. I never have been. I've never tried to, you know, turn this into a full-time job, and it's because I have a lot of passion for situations that are just disingenuous and like genuinely unjust. I obviously don't have that much of an influence because I really don't have that big of a following, but I think in situations where you're going to advertise something as everyone having an equal shot at an opportunity, and that ends up not being the case because of a mistake you made, and you refuse to own up to that, you're going to get some backlash from me, and I'm sure a whole bunch of other people. But anyway, I think that pretty much wraps up episode one of Syntox. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with what I have to say, or you disagree on certain points, or you think I missed a few points that could have made my argument stronger. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys have to say. And with that, um, I guess until next time, this has been Syntax. Later.